Hey everyone, Walter Bajron here with Driving Force Company, where we help entrepreneurs grow their business quickly and turn it into the business of their dreams. But not how you might think, and this is a really good, um, really good uh, broadcast to kind of talk about not how you would think. Now, before we get started, if you really are truly interested in growing your business to really massive levels, and you feel like you're all alone, go to drivingforcemastermind.com and fill out a, a, a schedule with our master growth strategist so that he can show you exactly how to put the right people in place to help you grow your business. So drivingforcemastermind.com and fill out the little, there's a red button right there. You can click on that, you get a free growth strategy session with our master growth strategist. So let's get rolling uh, while, we're, while we're here. You see, um, what we typically do is we see entrepreneurs coming to us all the time who want to grow their existing business really quickly, and they want the, the best possible chances to get there by following the path of someone or some business that's already done it. I mean, that's the easiest way to get somewhere, right? Follow, follow the path that's already somebody's already cleared out for you. And even though most businesses are doing okay and selling products and doing pretty good with their business, and, um, and, and really, uh, you know, slowly getting where they want to go, those that want to get there much faster, that want to reach new heights with their business and have a whole lot more success, uh, well, they, they tell us that they don't have the answer that they need because they feel like they're all alone. They feel like there's no one there to support them. Or if they are looking for answers, that the possible choices are almost infinite. They feel kind of overwhelmed with everything out there. And I can tell you, I know that myself. Even, even now in growing my current companies, I feel overwhelmed a lot of times because there's so many choices out there. There's so many people saying that they can help you grow. So many people saying that if you, if you do business with us, that you'll get the answers you need. And so I, I'm not saying that. I don't think that's the right message that, that goes out. I think the right message is to find yourself some partners some MVPs, if you will, that can help you do this. Now, not the MVPs you're thinking of, not like the game yesterday, not those kind of MVPs. What I'm talking about are people that are your massive vision partners. Your MVPs are your massive vision partners, and they can turn into your uh, most valuable players or most valuable people in your life. But I'm talking about the massive vision partners that can help you to see the possibilities that your business can reach and help you reach those. And the way they do that is they become uh, a close, tight-knit group of people that can give you advice and give you input on how to do those things with your business that you may see or you may not see because you're too close to it. And so I wanted to talk about uh, five, six, or seven of those type of people that can definitely help uh, your business to grow and become your, your massive vision partners, your MVPs. For, for me, um, the people that are closest to me tend to be the closest people to my business. And the very first one is my wife, my spouse so of, of almost 26 years and has been involved with every single one of my businesses from stage zero, you know, right when the business idea forms, she's been there to help me to see the bigger picture in some cases, to see things that I don't see, to um, open up the blind spots that I don't want to admit I've got, but I know that they're there and she's happy sometimes albeit frustrating. She's happy sometimes <laughs> to point those things out to me. Um, but if that, they've always been helpful in, in one way or the other, whether it's been finances or strategy, sometimes boneheaded ideas that I've had that didn't go anywhere. Sometimes she follows me down those paths anyway. And even though she knows better and they're wrong, she'll let me go there and see if I can make a success or not, or just tell me I told you so on the back end whenever it doesn't go according to plan. So as far as an inner circle goes, as far as a team of massive vision partners, I definitely think that the spouse can, can certainly be a really powerful ally for you and already because that person's deeply involved in the success of your business. So I would definitely say spouse is in there. The second one is typically your paid board of directors. Now, I don't know that I've, I've had a paid board of directors until we got to a certain uh, big size, until we got to close to the eight-figure level with the businesses because it's difficult to be able to afford them, or, or, or so I thought anyway. I always thought you had to pay a bunch of money to have someone to come and give you great advice, and that's not necessarily true. As a matter of fact, that's what we're talking about today is that you actually can have a free board of advisors or board of directors that can help you grow your business. And the very first one I would definitely want to put on there would be my wife, uh, my confidant, but not necessarily on the formal board, but in the informal board of directors, she definitely plays a role. You can also have a formal board of directors. And I always, again, I always assume that you have to pay these guys if they're going to give you the right advice. But if they're vested in your success, then they're going to give you great advice whether you pay them or not. 
and pay can be is relative. I mean, you could do partnership options. You can do stock options. You can do just, hey, help me out with mine, and I'll help you out with yours. That's another great way to do this, especially if they're a business owner. You can always go to them, give them advice, and they can give you advice because we can't always see what's going on in our own company. Sometimes we're too too deep into it. You know that old saying, you can't see the forest for the trees. That is so true, especially for entrepreneurs. It's difficult to see what's going on when you're so ingrained in the day-to-day operations of the business. And even if you sit at a higher level, you still have a very biased opinion and a very limited and narrow point of view about your business. And so someone from the outside can certainly offer you help that you may not be able to see. And I I typically like people that are in different industries because not only does it give me some outside perspective because they're not familiar with the lingo, they're not familiar with how things operate in this industry, they can ask tough questions. You may think they're dumb questions, but they're really tough questions such as why do you do it this way or why wouldn't you do it this way or why haven't you considered this? And those things are really powerful because it opens up your mind to different possibilities of how things could be done in your industry and in your business. And so those are really, really powerful questions, although sometimes they seem basic. If you sit there and focus on those questions, they can be really powerful and help you grow your business. Um, One such uh, conversation uh, I, I definitely had with our sales process. And so when we were in the industrial sales business, it's done with outside sales staff, sales staff that are inside and outside sales staff, but it's done with a sales team, an entire sales team that is actually made of real people and not just online presence that actually go out, meet with customers, uh, service their needs, bring equipment. They serve a lot of different roles, but that sales team is extremely important. And when we got into consulting business, many consultants are by themselves or they don't have a sales team behind them, not a true sales team. And so taking that outside perspective from that industrial side where it's all built with sales team members, that perspective gave me a great input. And one of my business partners that is still involved in industrial sales, when I got into consulting, when I opened the consulting business, he said, well, why don't you have a sales team? And I said, well, that's just because that's not how it's done. It's all based on referrals or online. He says, well, would it hurt to have a sales team? Nope, it sure didn't. <laughs> Matter of fact, the more we build our sales team, the more we build our sales. So it's a kind of a duh moment, but it's very powerful to have that outside perspective. So don't take, um, don't be opposed to having others outside your industry give you advice. And those silly questions sometimes can be a really deep question that you should consider, even though they seem like they're you know, out of the ordinary or kind of odd, or if you knew my business, you'd know why. Well, I think you should be a little bit bigger than that and open up your mind to the other possibilities out there. Um, And that comes to my next one, which would be uh, people that could be on your MVP team would be sharp family members. Um, My inner circle, I typically, you know, the inner circle that you have closer to your business, you want to have that as a trusted board of people, a trusted group of people. And so a paid board of advisors or, or other entrepreneurs would be a great source, of course, your spouse, but then sharp family members. And I have to put sharp family members there because at at first I put family members and I realized that there's a few family members that I had that I most definitely did not want on my board of directors. Um, And so uh, (laughs) because they, uh, you know, I guess, I I, I guess reflecting back on it, you certainly do want to have people that, um, how do you put this? I guess rub you the wrong way would be a good way to do it. Someone that that aggravates you, that really stirs you up, that doesn't bring out the best in you. And um, while sometimes that certainly can be good, and that has been advantageous because it, uh, some of the questions that this, these people have asked me or, or comments that they've made it really pissed me off many times, but that was good for me because many times what it did is it got me out of my comfort zone, made me look at it from a different perspective, and realized that actually they were right. While as aggravating as it was sometimes, I still had to take a look at it. But I put the caveat of sharp family members because you definitely want people that have had some experience in growing a business at some level, or at least have some experience in in life in general to know that they can give you some good advice. So sharp family members are certainly one you want to have on there. <laughs> Last night, Right, night before last, last night, when was it? A couple nights ago, I was doing another one of these Facebook posts live, and uh, I very shortly after that Facebook live got on a uh, phone call with my mother, with my mom. I talked to my mom; she's still alive, and so she. Uh, speaking of somebody that's that's on your side, but that can really really take things to a whole new level. As soon as we got on the phone, she started critiquing the video I did. She says. 
you need to have better lighting. And Walter, you need to slow down when you're talking. And Walter, you need to do this. And she just kind of laid into me. And at first, um, you know, it was kind of, it was really frustrating to hear your mom tell, all, tell you all these things. You think you're a big shot and your mom's going to start laying into you with all this advice. And so it, it, it's difficult to take that at first. But when I sat back and realized that she was absolutely right. Um, and, and so she had given me some advice that I definitely needed to hear to step up my game in my business. And so um, not only did I take it myself personally, but my other partners and our, our other sales staff that are going on, I, I spread that advice to them too, that we should step up our game. And so that advice comes from odd places, even your mother. Uh, she can give you some great advice sometimes and help you step up your own game uh, in ways you may not have expected. And she's not a business person, person at all, but she did give me some good advice on how our message as a company came across. She just happened to be viewing it that night. Normally, um, I, actually I screwed up because I put it on the wrong Facebook channel and she opened it up and saw it. So that was my fault in the first place. So quite a few great lessons there. So thank you mom for all those things of uh, doing it right, doing it better, making a better presentation, spending some time with the message and doing a better job. And so you get to benefit from that because my mom. So you, if you see her, tell her thank you. So moving, moving on to people that could be a great MVP or massive vision partner for your business would be your employees. Now, um, there's a lot of schools of thought on this. And one school of thought could be that uh, if you're going to share these details with your business, with your employees, that you should be careful, that you should withhold a lot of information. And I know that I was certainly there at one point in my business where I certainly didn't want to share income goals or profit levels or costs or uh, other employees' salaries with my, my employees. But I realized that that was my own shortcoming. Not that's just for me. It doesn't have to be for you. You may, you may find that's a good way to operate your business. I know that for me at one time, though, it was my own uh, lack of trust for my own business or, or lack of um, self-esteem for my own business. I didn't think I'd grown big enough, so I sure didn't want to share lackluster performance with my employees when they really had to trust me and look up to me. What I found is that the more I shared with them, the more understanding they became, the more behind me they got, uh, the, the better uh, of an employee they became because they got more of a stake and ownership level. Not necessarily that they didn't have an actual ownership in the business, but they took ownership because they could see behind the curtains. They could see what was really going on. And in some cases, in at least one case, one of them was asking for a raise and then saw how we were performing in that quarter and realized that that wasn't possible and actually rescinded their application for a raise until they could help more to build a business. And so that was that was kind of enlightening for me. And that, you know, that happened a, a decade or so ago, and it was kind of surprising. So employees can be a good source of your inner circle, your MVPs, your massive vision partners. And again, this is your inner circle. There's also another level of MVPs that we call outer circle. A little, a little bit beyond the scope of this training here, this video here, but outer inner circle is where we're going to stick today. A couple more places could be could be your investors. If you have outside investors, even inside investors like, like mom or anyone else that might be giving you money to invest in your business, consider them as a, uh, an MVP, a massive vision partner, someone in your inner circle that you'd want to have help you with the vision for your business and even for, um, we have a training with uh, a sales guy named Grant Cardone, and Grant Cardone talks about a, uh, uh, your, your foundation, your base, a good, strong base, a power base, he calls it. So a power base of people that are your, we call it inner circle, or the people that you could potentially sell your products or services to, but that really establish a sound base of initial customers for you. Your investors might be such a thing for you. People that are invested in your business, maybe just time. It may also be money. It could be, you know, in some cases, uh, it could be a landlord, could be a vendor, could be a supplier of yours, could be someone who takes care of distribution. There's a lot of different types of investment that goes into running your business. So you may want to consider those people uh, as your inner circle to help you grow your business. And by helping you grow, think of it in every single one. Think of it as, could be advice. It could be connections to people that you really need to connect to to grow your business, like great big clients that somebody else may have a connection to. It could be money, could be uh, all sorts of resources. Could be equipment, could be funding, could be training, could be knowledge, could be a lot of things. So when we talk about growing the business with massive vision partners, think about all the things your business needs, all the resources it needs. 
It needs more than money. It needs a lot of things to grow it. And knowledge is definitely one of them. Advice is another one. An outside perspective, that's another one. But your investors may be another good source of that. And then consider your business partners, partners in, 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 in other businesses. So we own five companies right now, and I have – Two partners that I would ask about any of my other companies. So I'll ask them advice. <clears throat> One does consulting, knows nothing about the other companies, which acts to my advantage. But I would certainly ask that person advice or get input from that person on other companies that are in totally different industries. And so think of business partners kind of um, interchangeably, especially if you own more than one company. They can definitely give you advice uh, throughout you know, all, of your, all of your companies. Um, so anyway, that's that's kind of where I want to go today is kind of talk about inner circle MVPs. And if you've got any interest in setting up your own MVPs or having some of that done for you, just go to drivingforcemastermind.com and you can talk with one of our inner circle, one of my personal inner circle uh, master growth strategists. Schedule an appointment with him. He'll do a quick call with you um, if you schedule that, that call with him. And uh, he can certainly give you some inside advice from outside industries that may help you solve some of the problems that you have or overcome some of the challenges and even take advantage of some of the great big opportunities that you may be missing in your business because you think you're doing this all alone. You're not doing it all alone. You've got help out there. DrivingForceMastermind.com. Click on the red button. You'll better schedule a call with him. And it's no cost to you whatsoever if you, um, if you think you need some help, if you want some help to grow your business. So anyway, just want to make sure you understand that you're not alone. You definitely have help out there. Set yourself up your own inner circle of MVPs around your business. Don't forget that they're a great source of money, time, effort, training, resources. Anything you need for your business can start with that inner circle. Next time we'll talk about the outer circle. Thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. You guys go to drivingforcemastermind.com if you want some immediate help. Click on the red button, and we're happy to get on a call with you guys. Thanks so much. Bye.